Hello and welcome back to the channel. I've been away for a little while, been very very busy, some of which um, the reasons why you'll find out for if you watch this video. You can see me zooming down in there in the summer and uh, I did I did uh, prepare a few videos in the summer here uh, with some Kenwood radios and stuff and I was all getting set to do a few more videos for you guys and I was busy doing various reviews, getting some radios together and then as stuff happens life just kind of gets in the way and starts messing about with all your best laid plans and I'm no different to anyone else and I just got really 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 busy so um, anyway to cut a long story short uh, work got really busy I didn't have time to do many videos even though I got a few of these uh, really good videos with some nice Kenwood and Icon radios in the can there um, I work as a, a crane engineer so work's been really really frantic and then boom we looked at getting a new house um i lived in the current house i'm in at or the one i was in at for about 20 years and it was in need of a bit of work and uh, really we kind of outgrown it so um we were looking around for new places and we found a, a lovely new property and um it didn't take that long before i'd actually signed on the dotted line and um my loft i mean that's tidy it was absolutely crammed with stuff the the loft with radios and bits and bobs and after a lot of hard work and uh, between me and debbie we managed to clear it and uh I, I, anyone that's moved house will know just how much hard work you have to put in and how stressful that is so i'm sure you can understand making videos was a fairly low uh, priority for me uh, i did find those radios in amongst the stuff which was a bonus they were my first walkie talkies so anyway, the um, the corner shelves all came down. The uh, huge amount of uh, handhelds I've got there, as you can see on the desk, all came away. Now, and we're boxed up. Now the desk is gone. I've still got the the top, but I've got some new desks in the new office, which I'll uh, perhaps show a bit on the next video. So anyway, in the meantime, I was watching all my favourite YouTubers like Lewis there and um, Andy Kirby and people like that um, getting inspiration but um, really uh, even after pressure from Lewis I still just didn't have time now this was interesting to get the sofa out of the front room I had to cut it in half because it went in through the front window originally and I didn't fancy taking a window out so if you ever need to get a sofa out a chop saw is a really good tool <laughs> anyway my mates come round we hired a van and it took all day to move us into the new place um, but uh, we got in there and um, plenty of storage in the garage there and it's a really nice house so i'm really pleased it's a fresh start for us so you know now i'm in it's uh, time to buy gadgets of course you know and uh and make stuff with the 3d printers such as brackets for various things uh fan covers and whatnot so you know if you are in a new place and a 3d printer is a real tool i even found time to upright tyler's scooter with some new lithium batteries and uh, make a few wall brackets for speakers and whatnot so you know if you do have a 3d printer and uh, there we go made a gun for a friend of mine does gun safety training um they are so great i mean i'd, I'd be lost without it and i even managed to squeeze in a projector there so i could project uh, youtube up on the uh, up on the on the side of the wall there so yeah really pleased with that and uh, I'll, I'll show you a bit about that one advantage of moving to a new place is the 300 megabit internet connection which is absolutely insane uh, that's fiber to the premises so um, did a little speed test on the mobile phone when we first got it installed and uh, there you go look it, it's with the kids were on YouTube at the time so uh, I've never had uh, an internet con internet connection that speed so uh, I've got no excuse now have I really for not uploading uh, videos I can't say it's going to take too long so uh, yeah that's a bit of a bonus a bit a bit excessive but I thought well why not we'll do it for a year 300 megabits super fast so this is a setup I've got now in the shack um, this is the only radio I've got I haven't got currently an antenna outside but I'm going to uh, rectify that in the spring I don't fancy going up the ladder now and I dug out the um, the, the BEs and I'm going to I'm going to get these that project finished off with the 3D printed version of that radio as you can see there I've still got to that point and no further with it and a lot of people have sort of asked and some people have been asking Lewis about what the progress is on this uh, 3D printed radio version of that so keep an eye on the channel soon because I will be doing an update on that and it will be fully made and function and working and or whatnot and we'll do a little test on it one thing I did get uh, which was a lot of fun is this Fleur um, thermal camera which is a fantastic little tool and um, you'll see at the end of this video if you stick around you can fast forward if you don't want to see me waffling through this um, how how I'm going to use it just to test the, the handhelds and to see where the the thermal characteristics of them so I, I did a few tests when I first got the Fleur just to I was testing the car charger there then the Sunleaf 
um, just checking to see how warm the plug was getting when I was charging it up and stuff and how badly insulated the loft hatch is on the new house and anyway I started off with a Baofeng uh, UV 5X now I could feel this getting warm um, pretty much instantly as I don't know many of you have obviously have used these radios you'll find that I on long uh, transmission uh, uh, usage they get really quite warm to the touch and you can also get this strange phenomenon whereby the um, uh, you get an RF, a slight RF burn off the back of it. You can see my hand is warm in the corner of my hand. See that that little spot on my finger there, my little finger. That was where I was getting this slight RF burn. Is, is it, and, and you can see as it's warming up there, the actual point on the radio that's getting hot. Now that's either a poor connection or literally that's all of the radiation of that antenna. The tip is slightly is warming up slightly. But the actual base of the antenna, I, mean, I know those antennas are really cheap and nasty, but you see the corner of the radio there where that heat is being generated. So I thought it would be interesting uh, to start off with the Baofeng radios and then move all the way up to the Icoms and Kenwoods just to see how they, them and the, and the stock antennas um, distribute the heat because uh, some handhelds, that all you can see on there is my paw prints on the front of the radio. That isn't the radio warming up. I thought it'd be interesting just to see the thermal characteristics of some of these um, handsets because in particular some of the more powerful radios can become very hard to hold on to. Uh, you know they can get, I mean it's not too bad in the winter time here but in, in, I've had them in the summer where you've almost had to put them down on long overs and they get so very hot. So I thought the FLIR camera would be a nice little tool to use and, uh, and do some tests uh, on all the radios with with this so if you if you keep uh, subscribed to the channel and, and thanks if you guys have hung around in my inactivity uh, I'm waiting for a few vids um, I tried it on the UV82 as well which was marginally better and seemed to have a, a slightly better heat dispersion um, but uh, you know all of the cheap Chinese radios are not going to fare as well as obviously the the better brands such as the uh, the Icoms and the uh, the Kenwoods with this regard. But you can see here that the uh, the radio warmed up on the 82 in a similar position, just at the tip of that the base of that antenna. Uh, so it'd be interesting to do some tests in between you know the different radios just to see the characteristics of this. Um, now the TYT. Uh, is notorious for running fairly hot. It's one of the most powerful handhelds that I've got, and it was interesting to see how this uh, was different to the cheaper China. I mean, this is essentially a cheap Chinese radio or affordable Chinese radio. Now, I started off on this test. I thought um, uh, whether there was some sort of quirk that, that with, with the thermal camera, and so I, I started off with uh, testing this radio on low power which I think on the TYT is about half a watt from memory without um, checking it and there was no noticeable change in temperature as you probably expect on that um, but the jump between low power and high power on the TYT is fairly significant I think if you watch back some of the videos the, the TYT can push as high as about 8 watts on VHF so it's a really powerful radio and it's also a cross band repeating radio if no one's uh, seen this radio before it'll do cross band repeat and it does run very hot on that and it does have a tendency to give you an RF burn a slight RF burn off of the negative battery terminal terminal which um, you, you might see in this next clip so I up the power up to full power bear in mind this radio has been sat in a box for about four months uh, so I don't know the state of the battery so uh, this may well be a little bit low but um, it was definitely interesting to see it the actual um, spread of the temperature was quite different as you can see there as it starts to warm up the uh, the thermal characteristics of, of, of this are slightly different and I imagine a, a, a much higher quality antenna would probably uh, be even better so and I think the antenna off this uh, set is quite reasonable but you can see there the temperature is far more even up and down the length of the antenna with a tiny little slightly hotter spot at the top but it, it certainly looks to be a more effective radiator thermally now whether that I mean I'm not a scientist whether that equates to uh, um, you know the thermal characteristics or equate to the radio characteristics I'm not sure anyway um, I haven't got any antennas set up here uh, the, the antenna that was at the old place as you can see there is just lying on the grass but that will eventually be stuck up on the side of the property there 
and I'll be in a position to do to get back to what I was doing before so with that I'm going to say uh, thanks ever so much for watching um, if you've unsubscribed and you've just caught this by chance I'd really appreciate it if you've resubscribed um, I haven't lost that many subscribers but I know the Google algorithm tends to unsubscribe um, uh, people from the channel if there's no content going up there so rest assured there's going to be some more regular content coming um, thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.